what to do when he says he's not ready for a relationship. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do and say when a guy says he's not ready for a relationship or he can't be in a relationship or he doesn't like labels or whatever the case may be. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from a new mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. So if you're in this situation, I really feel for you because I've been through it and I know how painful it is. I always say that it's much harder to get over a guy who was never your boyfriend than to get over an actual breakup. Because in the case where he was never your boyfriend, it's so much more painful that he didn't even want to try. He didn't even want to see if it could work with you because the fact that he didn't even want to try is so much more painful. I'm going to help you understand exactly what's going Going on and what to do. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. Real quick, if you like this topic, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. If you like relationship advice, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell to turn on notifications, and please leave me a comment letting me know what you think. So we can break this scenario into two types of guys, basically. There is the guy who just doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, and there's a guy who just doesn't want to be in a relationship with anyone in general right now. And the solution is the same no matter which guy you're dealing with. And you might not even know which type of guy you're dealing with because the guy who says, I don't want to relationship right now, he's not going to say, I just don't want a relationship with you. He'll give some other excuse. Speaking of, there is always an excuse that comes along with this line. He'll say, I don't want a relationship right now, followed by some legitimate sounding excuse. And that's why it's so hard for you to just let him go because you're like, well, that's a pretty valid excuse. Maybe he tells you he needs more time because his ex really did a number on him and, and he just can't trust a woman at this point in time. Maybe his parents' divorce when he was a kid was really hard on him. Maybe he's in debt and he wants to be out of debt before he commits to someone. Maybe he has a lot going on at work. There are a million excuses he can give and some of them may be the truth and they may be valid. But the fact is, when a man says he doesn't want to be in a relationship, you have to believe him. The reasons don't matter. The facts do. This is not an opening offer that's up for negotiation. That's how I used to be when guys would say that to me in the past, you know, give me the, I just can't be in a relationship right now. I would think, okay, he's saying that, but once he sees what an amazing girlfriend I can be, once he sees what a great cook I am, once he sees how loving and supportive I can be, then he'll change his mind. The road to a dead end relationship is paved with the as soon as. As soon as this gets better, as soon as he's over his ex, as soon as he's out of debt, as soon as he gets a handle on his career, then he'll give me the commitment that I really want. But that's not how it works because if you do all those things, you are just gonna end up in a non-relationship relationship. Non-relationship non is one where he's getting all the benefits of having a girlfriend without any of the responsibility. And he has no motivation to change because he knows you're not going anywhere. You don't need to convince the right man for you that you're the right woman for him. If you have to convince and make a case for yourself, this is not the right relationship for you anyway. You don't need to back a man into a corner to get him to commit. This isn't a game of cat and mouse. With the right guy, you don't even need to ask the question. You don't even need to come up with a whole strategy to have the what are we conversation because he answers before you even ask. He lets you know that you're official, exclusive, that he's your boyfriend, where things are headed. It's just clear and obvious. If he gives you something confusing like, oh yeah, we're not seeing other people, we're exclusive, but you're not my girlfriend. What even is that? What is that? You want a man who's gonna say, yes, you are mine. I'm committed to you and only to you and you are my girlfriend and it is just clear. There's none of this confusing language that leaves you completely unsure of what kind of relationship you're in. Okay, so what should you say when he says to you, I don't wanna be in a relationship right now? Well, the perfect response would be, I respect that and I do appreciate you telling me but I really need to be in a relationship with someone who is 100% sure of me. If that's not what I have here, then I need to walk away. In the case where he says he's not sure because of whatever is going on in his life, you can say, again, I really appreciate you telling me and I really think you should take some space to figure yourself out, figure everything out. I care about you, I really wish you the best, but I need to be in a relationship with someone who is on the same page as me and that's not where we're at right now. And that's it. That's what you say, because this is not the same as being angry and accusatory and calling him a bad guy and saying, well, how dare you string me along all this time if you're not ready for a relationship and you're such a jerk. I mean, you could do all those things. Maybe it'll feel good in the moment, but nobody ever looks back on a situation and says, wow, I really wish I had gotten angrier there. No, we look back and say, I wish I had handled that with a little more dignity, with a little more calm. And that's what you're doing here. I know that you are hurt and you are upset, but it's best to end it on a more 
positive note. For one, that's gonna really cause him to rethink his decision because he'll see, wow, okay, this woman really values herself. She's not gonna settle for something less than what she wants. I need to go all in with her if I you know, wanna continue a relationship with her. She's not just gonna settle for whatever scraps I'm willing to throw her way. So this is not the same as you flying off the handle and him feeling like, oh yeah, no, I can't handle this drama right now. Like, I do not need this in my life. Okay, I think it's best that we just go our separate ways. Also, the scripts that I gave you are much more effective because you're not proving your worth to him. You're not not arguing with him or trying to talk him out of his decision. You're agreeing with him. You're saying, yeah, you're right. You're not ready for a relationship right now. You go over there. I'm going to go over here. I really wish you all the best because I care about you, but I love myself. I love myself so much that I am going to go and find something that is more suited for me. This is so much better than just flipping out at him. If you try to prove yourself to him, you just come across as desperate and needy. So don't do this. I'm going to say it again. You will never have to prove yourself to a man who is the right man for you. Okay, so you said what, what I told you to say, you've walked away, now what? Well, if he truly likes you, he will come find you. He'll come after you because a man can get over his issues real quick when faced with the prospect of losing a girl that he truly cares about. If he just lets you go and he says, you're right, okay, you go over there, I'm gonna go over here, fine, goodbye, and you don't hear from him, then he never cared enough to begin with. And this relationship was never gonna go anywhere because there wasn't enough there on his part. It's also possible that he just doesn't want to commit to anyone right now. And that's fine. Some guys are like that. Some guys just don't want to commit. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. He's what, in his 40s now? He has dated the creme de la creme of women. Giselle Bundchen couldn't get him to commit. Blake Lively couldn't get him to commit because he just doesn't want to commit. So it's not personal. Some guys just don't want to commit right now for whatever the reason is. And I know that you want to be the girl to get him to change his mind, but sometimes that's just impossible. Most of the time, that is just impossible. If he doesn't want to commit, then you are just wasting your time. You are coming against a brick wall and you're smashing yourself into that brick wall over and over for no reason. The only way to get the relationship you want is to not settle for a relationship that you don't want. If he can't give you what it is that you want, then be okay walking away and know that you'll be fine. Either he'll come after you and maybe things will work out. Maybe he just needed that fear of losing you to get him to snap into shape, or maybe it won't work out and you'll find someone new. Either way, it is the biggest mistake to just stay in this relationship hoping he'll change his mind because it never happens. Now I wanna hear from you. What have you done when a guy said he doesn't want a relationship? Did you stick it out? Did you just walk away? I really wanna hear your experiences. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, check out anewmode.com for more relationship advice, follow me on Instagram at anewmode, and I will see you guys in the next video.